We would like to show you Tap to Speak beta version. What is Tap to Speak? Tap to Speak is event management software that allows you to manage your events and receive engagement and feedback from your audience. How does it work? If you have a speaker or somebody who is leading a conference, that person creates a virtual event in Tap to Speak. When you create an event, you have a unique URL. You give the URL to your audience. You can display your event screen. The event screen shows the information pertaining to the event, like a person who's already uh, actively speaking. Uh, in this case, that person is one of your attendees right here. And also you can have a moderator, somebody who helps John, the, the MC or the leader of the conference, to moderate the queue, asking queue or comments queue. Uh, obviously, you have your audience with uh, mobile devices. That audience can then connect to your very own Tap to Speak event URL that is unique only to you, to your event, and then they can engage with you during the conference. To run Tap to Speak, all you have to do is sign up for Tap to Speak at your own account. You set up events. You can manage multiple events. You can create as many events as you would like. You can create surveys, voting. You can even create sponsorships for your events. Let's look at the, one of the events set up. This is your main event control area where you can manage the event. You open up event for questions where people can connect with their smartphones. We have three people who entered the queue where they want to ask some questions. We have Bill, Steve and Steve and you can also see what is what is that they are uh, asking about because they chose to type in on their mobile devices what is their questions about. You also can have comments section where you can enable comments and you can see that currently we have a couple of comments already enabled. One is from Steve and also another one is from Steve. You can also run surveys. Uh, surveys are a great way to receive feedback from your audience. Uh, at this point, we have an event evaluation survey and we actually have some people who already responded to it. You can even display results of the survey. At this point, everyone responded one of each of the options of the surveys. The survey re results are only available to you because you want that, keep it private. But also, if you want to have something public, we have another feature called Vote. This is where you can create uh, publicly available questions for your people. For example, a uh, question, do you like tap to speak And you can see what the uh, answers were by clicking on the events response screen. This is what everyone responded to this question. You can even display this on the event screen. Let me show you first the event screen as it is right now without the voting result. This is the event screen. This corresponds to your very event that you just saw. During your event, you're able to project this uh, screen onto a projector where you can actually see the person who is currently asking you questions if they chose to describe themselves and or upload their picture. You can see who that is. And you can also see on the bottom recent comments from other people who are waiting in the queue. Those comments are totally controlled by you. you. You can moderate comments manually or automatically. You can even display sponsors on your event. Currently, we uploaded as a test three banners of three sponsors. On the mobile devices, the sponsorships also will show up. Mobile banners, they are adjusted obviously for the size of the screen automatically. So if you would like to display results from your uh, voting or poll, all you have to do is go back to your dashboard. Poll that is currently active, all you have to do is click on the results. This is only shown to you at this point. If you wanna show these results to the public, all you have to do is enable this icon right here. Uh, ask you would you like to show the chart for the people yes and then if you switch over to the event uh, screen you, this is what people will be able to see if you choose to project this out to everyone if you already have a tap to speak account your password and id will still be active and will work if you do not we encourage you to sign up for a free account if you have any questions at any point in time you can click on the question um, uh, section help section where we try to answer as many anticipated uh, questions as possible but as always bottom you have a help email address if you could have any comments or requests or issues please don't hesitate to email us we also are uh, responding to our live chat
Thank you so much for trying Tap to Speak and being willing participant in the beta version. We are so excited that you are part of this and we are excited to release a full version in the hopefully the next two, three weeks. The full version will be cross platform At this point, we have one limitation that we are know of that is on the iPhones the audio is not being transmitted as as desired so that is one aspect of it that is not working just on the iphones however the iphones are uh, capable of handling comments surveys and voting uh, so stand by hopefully the next two three weeks we'll get you the final version of tap to speak